What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Legendary j -Mez, and we are back right here, baby. New series on the channel. Y'all voted for it. Y'all got it. We are here with the Buffalo Bulls Dynasty here on College Football Revamped right here. This is the prequel to Legendary j -Mez getting his job over at MSU, dominating your national championships. Let's take a look at how he built this Buffalo Bulls team into a dynasty, you feel me? At least that's what we're doing here, basically, in a whole nother universe. Let's go ahead and rock out with us, get into the intro right here. Right here, you got our coach. This is going to be a different series. We're going to be running a pro-style offense, making it a little more difficult for us in terms of offense. Defense, I'm going to keep up my same 4-3 multiple. I really like that. We're going to rock out with that right there. We are using the same slider set we are currently using in the Mississippi State Bulldogs Dynasty. Let me go ahead and change this one to, let's save it under YouTube buff. <laughs> there we go. And then gameplay, you're going to see Heisman. This is all preloaded in uh, thanks to the guys at College Football Revamp. Look at these sliders. Ooh, ooh, these are tough. These are tough. Look at this. Oh, oh. Oh man, yeah, it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough, and it's not going to help that we are also adding some house rules to this, so to say. Uh, I'll go ahead and get into that right after we go ahead and pick our team, though, as we go ahead and generate this up. All right, let's head over to the two stars. Let me go over the teams we were considering that were up in the poll. I saw Akron here at 68, but I see the, I've seen a few people do them already. Buffalo Bulls was one of the ones we were uh, debating and the one we ultimately picked, as you can see from the title. 68 overall for 65 offense, 71 defense. Not a great team, but definitely not the worst one uh, out of the group. Uh, but this is the team we ended up going with. The other two teams we were looking at were over on the west side of the country right here. We got New Mexico Lobo, 65 overall next to Nevada right here to the right. Uh, 61 offense and 68 defense. They are very, very trash out in the Mountain West Conference, but they weren't voted. It's probably the team I would have picked if I didn't ask y'all. To be honest, it probably would have been these guys, but y'all voted Buffalo, which I don't mind. I don't mind. That's where fucking uh, my boy Khalil Mack. <sighs> Why'd the Raiders get rid of him? Ugh. Khalil Mack and uh, Josh Allen, who I wanted the Raiders to get, outside linebacker, uh, who's doing great over in Jacksonville. I wanted us to get him, but nope, we don't get him either. Ooh, San Jose State, yes sir. Um, and then, yeah, fucking Raiders. So I'm fine with doing Buffalo. That's gonna be a fun uh, dynasty. We'll make that one pretty lit over there. And then the other option here was New Mexico, and then Wyoming was the other one. Seeing if we could create another Josh Allen or something like that. They are also very trash. 68 overall with the uh, 68 offense, 70 defense. But like I said, we did ultimately end up. Y'all voted for the Buffalo Bulls. That is who we are going to control in this one. Uh, back here, they are very trash. So let's go ahead and sign to them. One upgrade available. Here is going to be one of our first house rules. In this series, we are only going to be allowed to recruit, uh, allowed to scout up to 50% of a recruit. So we're going to go ahead and unlock the 25 for now. But 50 is going to be the max. Um, yeah, we're going to make it a little more interesting. We won't know everything about the the guys we got, but I think it will add a nice little element to our uh, recruiting process. Another house rule that I am going to be incorporating, two star prospects are all we are allowed until we get into, I'll say a bowl. Once we unlock a bowl, we'll be good to go to unlock three stars. To go up to four, which is going to be the max for this team. I'm not going to go for any five stars in this series. Four is the max, trying to make it as difficult as possible. But with four stars, uh, the max for us to get that, we're not going to be able to get those until we level up in conference. So once we hit a certain amount, if we like three P or something in, in the conference, then we'll go ahead and upgrade us into the next, which I still haven't decided which conference we're going to move up into. But that'll be further down the line. Obviously, we got a long way to go till we get there. So the first house rule, two star recruits only until we could unlock a bowl, until we hit a bowl game. Then we'll be able to get three stars. That's basically six six wins to be bowl eligible, seven to guarantee it. So seven and five season, right? Twelve game season is what we gotta get. So 
not too hard to be honest, but we're going to go ahead and rock with that. Like I said, 50% two-star prospects to start. These guys go ahead and get my power move and finesse. That's what I really like. Gotta have a pass rush. Gotta have a pass rush. So we'll go ahead and rock out with that. And let's go ahead and look at this roster right here. Best player on the team right here is James Patterson at 86 overall, 80 speed, 89 agility, 89 acceleration with 86 awareness. Very nice as well. He's a coverage type middle linebacker, but look at that block shutting there. 85 with 83 tackle, 75 zone with 73 man. Good finesse move with 83 as well. So he is very, very solid. Unfortunately, he's a senior. So we'll go ahead and see how he could do in his final year here. Uh, possibly play himself in the game being a late draft pick. We'll see Damon Williams our next best player right here 82 overall uh, 81 strength 82 awareness none too crazy you feel me Let's go ahead and take a look 75 power move 75 finesse and 84 block shedding very solid very solid Not much for zone uh, Strength wise 81 strength could be a little higher, but this is what it is he is a junior So that's good to see right there and then the next, uh, our third guy, Quinn, Quinn Williams, right here, 82 overall. If only 87 speed, let's go ahead and take a look at the rest, though. With 77 catching, 77 route running, 6-foot receiver. Solid. Very a solid receiver right here. Um, we'll go ahead and see what he could do. I'll take it. I'll take it. Like I said, we're using the Mississippi State sliders. And if you've been following that series, and if you haven't, go ahead and check that out. It's been a great one. But right here. It is tough to throw on these sliders. It is very, very rough. So definitely looking for accuracy here. Matt Myers, the senior, 6'4", 2'11", 79 throw power, 79 pass accuracy. With 70 speed, too, allowing us to scramble a little bit, but none too crazy. He's going to be our starter heading into this one. Our backup is Casey Case, uh, 70 overall sophomore, which, to be honest, do we want a red shirt? 75, 73... Nah, I'll let him play it out. He is a straight scr scrambler, though. 74 speed only, but 89 agility with 88 acceleration. Not too bad. Not too bad. So, we're going to figure out what we're going to do here. I might end up registering both of them, to be honest. We'll go ahead and figure it out. But I'll figure that out later. Uh, running back-wise, Ron Cook Jr., 74 overall, our best running back, but is very slow. He's so slow. Ooh, that's tough. That's tough. Uh, 90 agility, 90 acceleration, good awareness, uh, not much else there, good elusiveness, good ball carrier vision, stiff arm solid, decent spin, decent juke, good carrying, and decent catching. Backup uh, behind him is uh, TJ Ahmed, senior, speedy guy, 70 overall, only 85 speed though, but he does have some nice acceleration and agility. Got the elusiveness, not quite ball carrier vision, but he does have a nice spin and juke. Not much for the ca uh, carry or catch, though. So that's going to be that there. The rest of the uh, running backs right here, none too crazy. And looking like we don't have a fullback, so we are going to have to either move one of these running backs to full, which is probably what I'll end up doing, to be honest. I might end up moving Mike Washington to fullback. 6-2-2-16. That, that might be the move. Uh, can we do that right now? Let's see. I cannot. So, we're going to have to just move them there. Or a tight end. Let's see if we even got any on this roster. I already forgot. Uh, Quinn Williams is definitely our best guy here. 82 overall. Followed by Justin Marshall, another senior right here at 77. Then we drop down to a junior in Trey Hines. 75, 85 speed. And then uh, 74 and 74 with uh, Booby Curry. Haha, <laughs> nice. And uh, Giovanni Ruiz Navarro, senior. So, two seniors right there. So, only one junior up here. We got, ooh, the freshman star, Jamari Gassett. Okay, okay. I see, I see you. You're probably not playing a lot, my guy. I'm probably going to redshirt you, to be honest. But we'll go ahead and see what you could do probably next year because we do have a lot of seniors leaving. Tight end wise, we got Robbie Mangus, uh, 73, 71 overall, and Jake Molinich, which is uh, good. I actually like run, running two tight end sets, so we'll go ahead and definitely look to be running that to start. Let's go ahead and take a look at this O line right here 75 overall in Desmond Bassett, 74 in Gabe Wallace, 72 in Jack Haas, uh, 71 in Sydney Walker. Ooh. Two seniors right there to 70. And Tyler Dottie at 70 overall as a sophomore. Who are the first two? 
senior with a junior backup senior. Ooh, this O line is going to fall apart quickly. It is all seniors except for the right tackle. Ooh, this adds another challenge to it. I like that. I like that. O line definitely gonna need some work, especially after this year since a lot of them are leaving. So. Heading over to the defensive side of the ball. Pass rush is very essential to me and my, the way I run my defense. Max McKell right here. Uh, senior. Let's see what kind of moves he's got right here. 83 strength, 82 power move, 75 finesse, 73 power. And then we got another senior in Ibrahim Kante. Pass rusher, 75 uh, finesse, 69 power, and 75 block shed with uh, only 68 strength, so he's a finesse type of guy. Then we got a nice little junior right here, CJ Bazel, uh, who will hopefully develop is he may end up needing to be a starter next year. Over at right end, Kyler Lang, 76 overall, one of our better defenders right here. Uh, 80 finesse move with 74 power and 74 block shadow, 75 strength with some nice speed too, 90 agility, 90 acceleration. That's gonna be nice to see right there. Bryce Johnson math. Is the backup may need to redshirt him or something? We'll go ahead and take a look at that uh, down the line. Defensive tackle wise, it's all Damian Williams. He's gonna be leading the pack, followed by Jalen Bass, uh, Bass, who is a pass rusher type, and uh, George Wolo, another pass rusher. Both of them uh, somewhat higher strength. The power moves pretty nice there with 80 and finesse at 82 for Bass. But the block shit, I'm assuming, ain't that nice. It, a 70, you know. And then right here, 80 power of 70 finesse and 70 block shed for Wolo. Okay, bet, bet, bet. Strength goes to Bass as well. Uh, no left outside linebacker. I don't like that. James Patterson, our top guy right there. We're probably going to move one of these guys to left outside linebacker. Uh, right here, probably Sean. And then we'll have Jake be the backup, I'm guessing. Yep, and then Khalil will leave there. It right outside linebacker Caleb Tate and Fabian White. And we'll see what we go with there. I like the speed here, but this uh, Caleb does have the agility and acceleration. So we'll go ahead and yeah, we'll probably start with Caleb to be honest. Secondary wise, Jaden Oliver, 77 with 85 speed, 6'3 cornerback. I like that right there. And then followed with uh, our number two, Caleb Offord. Junior hard hitter 88 speed. I like that with some good acceleration 6-1. So we got some size at corner Caleb is a 82 83 81. I like that. It's very solid to start I like that a lot is a junior and the other guy Jaden Oliver our number one 84 86 and 84 So I think we have two very good corners on the outside to hold it down to start in the slot It's gonna be Isaiah King right here 78 78 78 pretty good to see right there Elijah blades right here Looking pretty solid, pretty solid right there. I think secondary ain't too bad. It could be faster. I like our size though. The size would really got me excited. Pause, pause. But uh, looking very solid there. Let's see how the rest of it's shaping out. Free safety, Marcus Fuqua, right there. 84 speed, zone at a 71. I like that a lot. Play rec only at a 65, however. Uh, but he does got the speed. Dylan Powell looks like he's just gonna be too slow to run it. He does have slightly better zone coverage. Uh, I don't believe the awareness is the same, no, oh, but the play rec is better. But I will probably rock out with Marcus right here. And then strong safety, we got uh, Jameen Muse, or ooh, we got options here, Jalen McNair or Keyshawn Cobb. So looking at the options here, McNair just looks very freaking slow, Jesus. But he does have the acceleration and agility. Awareness is going to go to Muse here. Let's see who's got the better stats. 70 tackle he could play all over the field i like that uh right here hit power ain't really there zones i uh what was that press at 72 what was muse press at 70 then we look at Cobb right here he's got better zone better tackle good awareness better play rec and looking like Keyshawn Cobb is going to win this to start that's probably what i'm gonna rock out with uh, over at kicker, Alex McNulty, the senior. So we're going to have to go find us one. Hopefully a decent one. Only 77 kick power. That is not going to cut it. That's tough. And then we got a senior punter. So we also got to target that too with 82 kick power. So that's slightly better. So we got our work cut out for us. A lot of seniors on this team, I have noticed. So that's good to see. We're going to begin a decent amount of recruits in. I'm not going to add any uh, in people recruits as of now. We will probably add that maybe into season two. We'll see how we perform in this first season. 
Uh, probably once we can unlock three stars, we'll go ahead and start adding some recruits because I don't want to add you guys in as two stars and you're all bummies. So that's what we're going to rock out with. Let's go ahead and create the schedule real quick as well before we go ahead and end the video. Uh, we'll take on number two, Ohio State to start. I like that. Number 10, Baylor. Why not? Uh, I don't want no FCS teams, though. Let's go ahead and take on somebody as in... Who could we take on here? Let's go with... Let's go with Syracuse. Let's take on Syracuse in this one. And we got Charlotte. I think we can find a better opponent than Charlotte. Uh, who do we want here? Let's go with Boise State. We'll go to... No, they could come to us. Yeah, yeah, they come to us. And then we go into conference play. A nice little open week and we finish out conference play. Okay, I like that. I like that. So two very tough opponents to start. Then we got Syracuse, who ain't no joke. Uh, Boise State, who ain't no joke either. Correct? I don't know what they're... They're looking like it at the moment, but I'm going to assume they're pretty nice as that's a rivalry game too, right here against Syracuse, which we'll probably schedule every, every year. So first one will be here. Hopefully I remember to swap them out. Strength schedule only a C, but that's only cause I mean, come on, we're in the Mac. There's only so much we could do, uh, but that's going to be our schedule right there. And then in terms of everything else, I don't think there's nothing really much else to say. I kind of went through the depth chart, kind of show, or I went through the roster, basically showing y'all the depth chart. I'll go ahead and redshirt a few. And eh, why not? Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Why not for y'all? Let's go ahead. Take a look at the QBs right here. Do we want to redshirt one of these guys right here? Probably smart to do one of them at least. I like how they, they all got some speed to them. Matt Myers definitely going to be the guy. To be honest, red shirt both. And then we'll go ahead and let Brian Plummer go ahead and be the backup. Nah, I'll go ahead and let Casey Case go ahead and rock it. We'll go ahead and red shirt Cole Snyder. I'll let Casey Case be our backup there. Uh, running back wise, let's go ahead and red shirt uh, Karan Robinson right there. We'll rock out with that. No fullbacks for us, unfortunately. It wide receiver, I'm going to go ahead and redshirt Jamari, even though he got that star, he got that star on him, but we'll go ahead and redshirt him for now. There's just too many guys ahead of him, and we could use the extra year of eligibility out of him, and I'll probably also use on the sophomore right here, and uh, Cameron LeBron, LeBron, <laughs> uh, right there, we'll go ahead and use it on him. Tight end wise, we got four of them, let's go ahead and not use it. Uh, tackle were good. Uh, let's go ahead and use it on the left guard here and Andrew Kerwin. Why not? Uh, center wise, we'll go ahead and leave that, I guess. Could use this extra year of eligibility, I'm not going to lie. We'll go ahead and use it on James. We should be able to be fine. I probably just will make sure. We, yep, yeah, see, we got extra guard right there. And we'll go ahead and keep that. Left end wise, let's go ahead and do we want a red shirt Brazil? That's kind. Of, I don't really like red shirt juniors or seniors. I'll do it to freshmen, sophomores, but maybe you know I talk to CJ, let him know, hey, this is probably best for you. You'll get a lot more reps because you're not gonna be getting no starter. You're gonna be a starter next year if I can red shirt you. Get extra year eligibility, let you do your thing. Yeah, why not? We'll go ahead and red shirt, red shirt CJ right there. And then over here, uh, let's go ahead and I kind of want to red shirt both, but I'll go ahead and leave Bryce on this one. Uh, defensive tackle, Jesus, that's a lot of juniors. And there's it's just too many. It's too many. So I'm going to red shirt the two bottom guys. Let those top three go at it. No left outside linebacker. Right here, free safety. We'll go ahead. And yeah, redshirt you and Murdoch. Leave these guys. We'll leave all the corners, right? Two, four, six. Wait, two, four, two, four, six. Yeah. Uh, fine with that. Cobb is gonna start, and that's it. Quick look at the red shirts right there. And then, yeah, I think that's where we're going to leave it off. We got our schedule, got our depth chart, 
I'll set that real quick. I kind of went over it with you guys anyway. Red shirt is done. I'm going to go ahead and do the recruiting board off, off cam right here. But that's going to be it right there, man. That's the intro episode for the Buffalo Bulls Dynasty here on College Football Revamped. If you enjoy, please drop the like and hit the subscribe button for more college football content. Baby, I'm going hard at it right now. We got Mississippi State Bulldogs. If you didn't check that out, go ahead. Think about bringing the Anthony Locke series back uh, with Road to Glory cornerback Anthony Locke, obviously. Hopefully, he could go crazy over there. Maybe bringing him back uh pretty soon i might just see what, what, what kind of reception we get on that as well with this series and man, i'm just i'm trying stuff out we're gonna see what kind of new content we can add to this gonna be starting streaming to uh streaming a lot more consistent trying to figure out what i want to stream but i kind of got an idea on it so we'll go ahead and rock out with that and uh yeah man uh twitch link down below if you want to go ahead and shoot that a follow go ahead and hit some sub so, so blah, blah 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 go ahead and hit subscribe if you are new here, hit the like button if you're excited for this new series right here. And that's it for me, man. Catch y'all next time. Peace.